This video and the next two videos will demonstrate how to implement business rules into data quality services. These videos will take the following format of first, creating a knowledge base. This knowledge base will contain the domains and the required composite domain, which will also hold the composite domain rules. Those rules represent the business rules. The final portion will deal with data quality projects and how to create a data quality, quality project, which will be used to process the data. The source data that will be used for this demonstration is the following Excel spreadsheet, need title. This Excel spreadsheet follows has the following columns. First, the title column. It is null and will need to be populated via business rules. The next three columns will not be processed. The last two columns, marital status and gender, will be used by the business rules to populate the title column. There will be three business rules. First, one for male. Any male or with gender value M will be populated with MR. Any single female will be populated with MX. And the last rule will be for a married female. In that case, the title should be populated with MRX. So to begin with, the first thing that needs to be done is to create a knowledge base. Click the new knowledge base button and give this new knowledge base a name. I will call it title demo. demo. And nothing else has to be done on this screen, so I will click next. On this screen, I will create the domains that will be required. I will name the, the domains by the same name as the source, just to make the mappings easier. The mappings will be done after. So for the first domain, I will call it title. And it will hold the values um, for the business rules. Next, I will create marital status. Marital status. And lastly, I will create gender. These are the three domains that I need for my business rules. Next, I need to create a composite domain. I'll give that a name as well. I need to ensure that the name does not match any domain names. And I will call it title enrichment. Next, I select the domains that I want to include in my composite domain, gender, marital status, and title. Hit OK. And the title enrichment domain is now created. You can see from the properties tab that I have selected the gender, marital status, and title domains. The next step is to create Composite domain rules, uh, which will correctly populate the title domain. And I will do that in the next video.